Hey, so we're at Riyadh 2019. Um, it's a big, big deal for us. I think we've got the Tempest model here. It's just in front of me. Let me show you from behind me. There you go. Um, that's for um, STEM engagement. So we're hoping to get the public in and through and using all their good stuff while we're doing it. I'm getting run over as I'm walking and talking. Um, so yes, Tempest is, is, is there and ready for us. Um, we might have our first celebrity in the cockpit later, hopefully. Um, it's quite noisy. So this is Mark Still from Team Tempest. Mark, what are you doing at React today? So we're at React today, we've got the um, seal closet on behind us. We need to come up in for the rest of the event. To come in, see the cockpit, take a selfie. Get it out there, please, on Twitter and uh, Instagram at Team Tempest UK. Uh, and then it's just to engage and let everyone know what we're doing. It's a really exciting program. Why is that the part is, we want everyone to be fully behind what we're doing. This is part of our future, not just for the Air Force, but for the nation. It's integral to MOD and to UK industry, actually, to maintain choice, to keep UK prosperity and keep us moving forward. Thank you very much. Have a good show. Thank Cheers. you very much. So, Carol, we've just had you in the cockpit of Tempest. Um, yeah, the concept. Talk, the concept. One of the many concepts. Quite, quite. Um, we talked a bit about inspiring the next generation. How do you think this will help? I think it's fantastic. So I've seen over the course of my lifetime, you know, obviously how technology has changed, and I've been um, very much involved in reporting on that. I you know, started off with an engineering degree from Cambridge. Absolutely, so it, yeah, yeah. It's something that, um, that I've followed very closely, and now my daughter's just finished her PhD in nanotech at Cambridge. So, so I see how the use of technology has And I've also seen how um, and, it's, and it's important, you know, when one piece of technology is developed now, as will be with Tempest, you know, world class and uh, state of the art, that the cross germination with other industries, you know, is something that's very real today. It's not done as it used to be, oh, we're making this machine for this industry. And I think that's what's very exciting, I think that's what excites a lot of young people. Good. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming over. Pleasure. Have a good show. Cheers. Hi there. So we're here at Riyadh. I'm with Ian. Ian, would you like to introduce yourself? Certainly. Um, so Ian Bird, Head of Concepts and Next Gen Technology um, on, uh, on Tempest. Um, so here we can still outside the um, uh, rapid capability office pavilion. We've got a uh, group of five or six people uh, and some exciting kit to show you in the next couple of days. For sure. And what kind of things are you showing? So we're showing some manufacturing test pieces, some uh, different uh, new uh, advanced types of um, uh, manufacturing that we're looking at. version of the active cockpit uh, and we've got uh, a rather interesting looking uh, pilot mannequin in a striker helmet and some biometric equipment uh, to show people some things that we're developing. Uh, and these are all Tempest technologies you've been working on over the last 12 months? Yeah, 12 months or so. So really part of the big message we're trying to get across is, um, so eventually it was 12 months ago, there's been lots going on um, in the last 12 months. I'm not going to tell everybody about it, we want to keep some of that to ourselves, but we've made some real engineering progress um, and there's some good stuff to show people. And, uh, start to learn a little bit more about what FCAS um, could be, would be, uh, what it could be. And come Sunday, what will have meant a good weekend for you? I think a good weekend will be, you know, hopefully a good reaction from some of the listeners that we've Perfect, Ian, have a good weekend. Cheers, Look forward sir. to seeing what you've got in 12 months' time. Cheers. Bye. Bye. So, Andrew, excited about tomorrow? Yeah, Mr. Kennedy? You know, what would be an ideal result for me is in 20 years' time, when this aircraft starts going to service, and hopefully I go into retirement, is that we're going to start to see engineers working on this, on this uh, airplane, and pilots, and got systems development engineers, and software engineers, and everybody else. I mean, wouldn't it be great if you know, we have a, you know, a, a, a child who comes and sits in the cockpit this, uh, this weekend, and in 20 years' time, that's the person who sits and that's the first flight to the aircraft.